This story is aimed at people dissatisfied with their lives, who believe others are happier than they are. To understand this story, watch it until the end. Once upon a time, there was a deeply unhappy crow with its existence. One day, while perched on a tree branch, it found itself crying. At that moment, a monk sitting under the same tree noticed a tear from the crow accidentally falling on his cheek. The monk looked up and saw the crow crying. Curious, he asked, my friend, what's the reason for your tears? Why are you crying? The crow poured out its heart, saying, you know, I am profoundly discontented with my life. Nobody loves me, people push me away with contempt. No one feeds me, everyone hates me. Death seems like a better option than this existence. Upon hearing the crow's words, the monk's heart was filled with compassion and wisdom. He said, my friend, we must learn to find happiness in all the conditions we encounter. However, the crow couldn't grasp the depth of the monk's wisdom and continued crying. The monk comforted the crow, saying, don't be disheartened. Tell me what you wish to be, and I can make it happen with the power of my mantra. The crow became elated and replied, Oh, blessed one, if you could grant me a favor, transform me into a swan. The monk agreed, saying, Very well, I will transform you into a swan. But before that, go to the swan and ask if it is satisfied with its life. Find out while I wait here. The crow flew away joyfully in search of the swan. It found a graceful swan gliding on a lake and approached it, exclaiming, what beauty you possess. You are as white as milk. Everyone loves you, and surely you must be the happiest bird in the world. But with a sorrowful heart, the swan replied, no, my friend, I am not happy. Despite the many beautiful colors in the world, I have none. White is an insignificant color. I believe the parrot is the happiest bird with its vivid colors. Upon hearing this, the crow hurried to find a parrot. When it reached the parrot, it said, Oh, parrot, how colorful and beautiful you are. You must be the happiest bird in the world. Sadly, the parrot replied, No, my friend, I am not happy. People keep parrots in cages, and I am always afraid of being captured and locked in one of those prisons. In my opinion, the peacock is the happiest bird in the world. Moreover, it is much more colorful than me. Driven by this revelation, the crow flew in search of a peacock. After a long and relentless search, it finally found a peacock confined in a cage at a zoo. It noticed hundreds of people gathering to admire it. When the crowd dispersed, the crow approached the peacock and said, Dear peacock, you are stunningly beautiful. Thousands come to see you. I am constantly startled when people spot me. You must be the happiest bird on the planet. However, with a sorrowful tone, the peacock replied, I used to believe I was the most beautiful and happiest bird in the world. But due to my beauty, I have been imprisoned in this zoo. People pluck my colorful feathers to make decorations, causing me great pain. Sadly, I am not a happy bird, my friend. Astounded by the peacock's words, the crow asked, If you are not happy, then who do you think is the happiest bird in the world? With serenity, the peacock replied, After carefully observing the zoo, I realize that you, my dear crow, are the only bird not imprisoned in a cage. People don't try to capture and confine you. In recent days, I have contemplated the idea that if I were a crow, I could fly happily everywhere and be free. Hearing these words, the crow flew away and, for the first time, felt genuinely happy to be a crow. It returned to the monk and declared, Wise one, I don't wish to be anything else. I am content as I am. When we examine our own lives, we realize that this is also our dilemma. We make unnecessary comparisons with others and consequently become sad and discontented. We fail to value what we possess, and this imprisons us in a vicious cycle of unhappiness. 
We must learn to find happiness in what we have instead of longing for what we don't. There will always be someone with more or less than us. If we constantly compare ourselves to others, we will never find true happiness. The person who is content with what they have is the happiest in the world. Keep this video forever as a reminder that you don't need what others have to be happy.